It is indeed a lovely rainy day, isn't it? A cup of hot tea would be utterly delightful right now. After finishing the last set of video recordings, I was wondering how many plant tasks we can handle at once. One thing that crossed my mind is how many pots we need for certain plants, and if we can juggle multiple plants tasks together in a day. In addition, I've been contemplating a clever strategy to prevent overplanting certain plants, which would also save time in the cultivation process. Without delving into complex calculations, let's examine some plants and identify key facts that will help us efficiently manage our cultivation tasks completion. We will begin with the plants having the relatively easier tasks and gradually progress to the ones with the most complex cultivation requirements. In this video, we will explore some of these plants and you will learn about their tasks and cultivation requirements. Some higher level plants may have surprisingly easy tasks compared to lower level ones. If you haven't yet reached a certain level, you may want to skip those plants for now and focus on cultivating those suitable for your current level. As you might have already suspected, the plant with the simplest tasks is the Fang Geranium. I reckon most of you have already completed the Fang Geranium's tasks, but let's take a moment to review it as an educational example. The first task is to accumulate 500 humidity points. The second task is to sell five Fang Geraniums. The third task is to harvest 10 fanged geraniums of golden quality. The fourth and final task is to harvest a total of 100 fanged geraniums in total. Let's move on to understanding the tasks by using logical conclusions. Let's assume that we have fully upgraded plants better and bountiful harvest talents. Consequently, we can plant a maximum of eight pots and we can expect to harvest between six to eight plants from each pot. To accumulate 500 points of humidity, we need a total of five gillyweed plants. This task can be accomplished within a single day, so we can safely skip it for the time being and focus on other tasks. The second task, involving selling plants, is relatively flexible as you can perform it at any time when you have the necessary plants available. Therefore, we can move on to the next task without much focus on the selling aspect. Moving on to the next tasks, we have two goals that require harvesting the plants. The third task can be skipped for now, as completing the fourth task by harvesting a total of 100 plants will automatically fulfill it. Simply make sure to harvest at least 10 plants of golden quality during the process. How many pots will we need to grow 100 fanged geranium plants? Given the 12-hour growth time and the average yield of 6 to 8 plants per pot, we've determined that we need about 15 pots in total to cultivate the required 100 fanged geraniums. We've got it all mapped out. In the first part of the day, we'll focus on planting eight pots, and then during the second half, we'll tend to seven pots. This way, we'll have a spare pot available to handle the requirements of another plant. In summary, if we concentrate on completing the fourth task, we can finish all fang geranium tasks in a single day. To clarify, this strategy is based on having fully upgraded the plant's better and bountiful harvest talents. If you're at a lower level, or your talent tree is not fully upgraded, You'll need to adjust your approach based on your current capability. Next up, we have the gillyweed plant, which requires us to accomplish the following tasks. First, you need to harvest 10 gillyweed plants. Second, try to accumulate a total of 5,000 points of hygiene. Third, collect 10 gillyweed plants from the Black Lake location. Finally, sell 25 gillyweed plants, making sure they're at least golden class quality. We can approach the gillyweed plant's tasks in a methodical way by skipping the first and fourth tasks. Instead, we will focus on accumulating 5,000 points of hygiene, as we'll automatically accomplish the first and fourth tasks as a byproduct of that process. We can maximize our gillyweed harvest by understanding that its growth time is six hours. Theoretically, this means we can grow up to 32 pots of gillyweed each day. In theory, we could potentially grow 32 pots of gillyweed in a single day. But since we humans need our rest, we'll probably need around 64 pots to finish the tasks, which would realistically take about two days. In terms of the third task, considering the daily limit of collecting five plants, we can plan to accomplish this task spread over two days as well. In conclusion, you can dedicate approximately two full days solely to completing all tasks related to the gillyweed plant. Unfortunately, we are running out of time and I cannot cover all the plants in this single video. Before we end the video, there's an important matter I'd like to address. When tending to your plants and working towards increasing their care points, it's vital to keep an eye on the gauge. Avoid letting it go all the way to 100 points. Instead, 
try to maintain it around 99 or slightly lower. For instance, if your gently touch mood talent adds 20 points per action, you can carefully pet your plant until the gauge reaches 99 or so. If you tap one more time to reach 100 mood points, this will result in a reset, and the points between 199 will be wasted. If you notice that your plant's care points have reached 80 or higher, it's wise to refrain from touching it until the gauge drops back down to at least 79. This helps prevent exceeding the 100 point threshold and wasting care points. That's all the information for now. Make sure to watch all the series to be fully informed. If you have anything useful to share or any questions, feel free to leave a message in the comments section below. I would be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next episode. You forgot to mention that to maintain precise care tasks, players need to reset their talent tree, or all their efforts will be wasted. You're correct, Miss Cole. The Lumoses and Lumos Solemn talents, which immediately add light to a plant, need to be removed from the talent tree if one wants to gradually increase the light level by a steady 25 points each second.